Well, it's good to be uh, ready to go play again, I'll tell you that much. Uh, again, I think we prepared well, excited about being home. It's going to be a tremendous crowd. Uh, you know, all the events around this week are, are exciting. Now it's time to go get ready to go play a football game and, and represent Wisconsin football the way it uh, should be represented and play the way we should play against a very good team. So I'm excited about the opportunity. Here you had mentioned early in the week that you expected Doe to be heavily involved in returns. Is it going to be kickoff and punt as the way you yes. started the year? Yes. Okay. Yeah, that's the plan right now. He'll be both punt and KOR. Yep. Is it possible to measure the benefit of a buy? Do you think it's substantial? Uh, you know, I, I guess I would say this right now. I really like the timing of it because of the number of injuries that we may not have had young men last Saturday, at least at 100%. So uh, I think we'll know more you know, in about uh, what, 48 hours. We'll see. Is Raynard available this week? Who's that? Raynard, TJ. TJ? Yeah. Uh, yeah, he is. Yeah, I wouldn't uh, suspect that he'll play much, if okay. any, but he's uh, getting relatively back to full strength. Has Kenzel been itching to go here the last couple of weeks? Oh, yeah. After missing the Ohio State game? Yeah, he's excited. Yeah, it was hard. So it was a hard game for him to sit out. He was excited uh, to get back, and I think he gained confidence as the week went on. Monday was good for him. Uh, Came out, did a good things Tuesday, Wednesday, continued to move forward. So he's very excited about the opportunity to get out and, and hopefully make some great plays for us. You've been kind of going back and forth with O'Neill and Landish at that rover spot. Is that a pretty good situation, do you think, those two guys? Yep, I do. I really do. I like both those kids, the way they move around, the way they play. Um, and it's a good compliment for Chris, and it can also relieve a little bit of pressure off of Chris at practice. And one can go over and play some Mac and do some different things. So it's a, it's a good one-two punch, and at the end, it's... A, it's a good recipe. We just got to keep them all healthy. How has Dallas held up in practice this week physically coming off that? Very well. I've noticed no no issues, and I try to watch those kids coming off those injuries very closely. And early in the week, there was a whole bunch of them to watch, and my eyes were uh, catching them as much as I could. And uh, Dallas, along with you know Melvin and Kinzel, and you know, the list goes on, seemed to be just fine. What did you think the job Fultz did in uh, replacing him, and where does Stand Dan did a good job. You know, he's uh, he's exactly where he was. Uh, you know, prior to uh, Dallas being injured, he's deeply involved in the rotation. And if we get in a situation, he's the you know he's the first man in um, at center and possibly at one of the guard positions. You see Tanner McAvoy throwing once in a while after practice. Is he still trying to do some things to keep his hands in the quarterback? Um, um, <laughs> I think Tanner will always think he's going to throw the ball around and be a quarterback. You know. Uh, he, uh, you know, he's still, as far as I know, the, the cast may have just barely been removed. He's still going to play in it, so his ability to throw the ball is still not there. But I'm sure as a quarterback, he wants to get out and throw it around, and um, he'll always be in, in our mind as a quarterback. Gary, is it important for you as a or university as a whole to, to be ranked? I know it's you know, guys don't really look at rankings, but maybe outside the program to have that little number next to your name? Yeah, well, I think it's something special anytime you can look and, you know, you're, you're in the rankings. So. I think it's uh, it proves to it's a statement, I guess, that shows that you're a pretty good football team by other people, and they respect your program. So um, it's nice to be ranked. Would I rather be ranked than not ranked? Sure, I'll take it. Gary, I know you can't talk about specific recruits, but this is a big weekend in general mm -hmm. for Wisconsin's program. How, how important is this weekend in your mind for um, what they they might see? Well, I would say you know it's uh, it's like any other weekend. There's a little bit larger number of young men coming in but this time of year all the kids are coming on rec recruiting trips it's a, it's a big weekend uh, it's highly contested just like it's been the whole year long our, our numbers are uh, are loading up pretty quick this year which is a real positive thing and it'll be a great weekend it looks like oops, excuse me the weather's going to be uh, pretty good uh, it's a big recruiting class for the University of Wisconsin obviously when we get a senior laden class uh, we've got to fill in some holes in the junior the sophomore and the freshman class and and we're looking to hopefully get 30 new kids in this program uh, by next August. That is the plan. And when you look at 85 scholarships and 30 new scholarship kids, that's a, that's a large number. Anything else? Okay. Thanks, guys. Appreciate it.